What's up everyone? The Boulder Boulder here. And today I'm going to be doing my 100 subscriber special. Well, now I have over 100, but I've just decided to do it now. Today I'm going to be doing a review over a new Bionicle mock of mine called Spidrix. This is a legendary Rahi only talked about in the legends. No one was really sure if this creature existed until not too long ago on the planet of Spherus Magna where a group of Agori and a Matoran were scouting a round outside of the main city in Spherus Magda where a big majority of the Agori, Matoran, and Toa now live. They wanted to find some other parts on the planet that they'd be able to set up new cities or anything. But it was starting to become evening time and they needed to set up some sort of camp that they would be able to stay in for that evening. So they found a cave that had a stream of fresh water going through it that was good enough for them to drink and they already had food supplies that they brought with them because they were sure they would not be able to return in the same day that they left. So they went inside the cave and after they set up their own little camp, just before it became dark and it was impossible to see inside the cave, they saw four glowing red eyes. They became startled, and so did the Spidrix. But it ran away back further inside the cave. So, the Matorian and Agori went in after it to see if they'd be able to find it. But, they were unable to find it, except for one Agori that happened to look up at the ceiling and saw this creature just sitting there on the ceiling, looking down on them. And then, it jumped down because it was startled that the Matoran and Nagor actually saw it, so it ran out of the cave. And ever since then, no one has seen this creature. But the next day, after the Matoran and Nagori returned from their scout, they eventually went back to the main city to tell the Toa and a group of scholars that they actually had found this creature inside a cave. They gave them a lo the location of the cave and the scholars eventually wanted to know more about this creature. They demanded that they give very detailed descriptions of what they saw on the creature and what colors it was. And this gave those scholars some vital information about this creature. But now those scholars plan to take out another group of Matorn and Agori to go check out this creature if they could find it and be able to study it. Study its habits and pretty much everything about it. Because this creature is very interesting indeed. So, as you can see it has eight legs like a uh, arachnid. This thing is a giant arachnid like Rahi, I suppose you could call it. It is very secretive. Not very many people know of its existence until that one day those Matornanagori saw it. Now everyone knows for a fact this Rahi really does exist and that it's somewhere on Spherus Magna. But now, let's get on to the traits that we do know about this creature. We do know that it doesn't just attack everything it sees, and it has a very select 
few of things that anyone knows that it consumes at all. But even they're not sure those are accurate, so... Anyway, in case you're wondering what all of these little green points are on his body, they're actually sensors. Um, organic sensors, I should say. They actually have, like, something of a little sonar, like you would see on other animals, like bats or anything else that uses something like that. It can send out a signal, and if something obstructs the beam, it comes back, and it'll know that there's something there. So, there's not a very big chance of you being able to go and sneak up on this creature without it knowing that you're there. And these two things right here on its back, like a normal spider would have, its abdomen, this one has two little, I don't know exactly what to call them, but they are just like a spider's abdomen then has webs that come out of it but unlike a spider this thing has energy webs which are much tougher than any spider's web and the energy web will have little beams come out and meet right here and would get onto its prey and it would capture it or it might not be its prey, it might just use it for defense to keep any Rahi or warriors or whatnot away from it so it could escape. And it does deteriorate after a while, but it isn't going to deteriorate very fast. So, and also on the front this also has energy web blaster on its front where it, the beams meet right here and it shoots out at whatever it's shooting at and here I'll give you a little bit closer look at the head and its design right here and its back and then you can show you the underbelly what that looks like I have to say this is a cool mock <laughs> and it's probably one of my favorites of Rahi mocks I've ever created so I suppose that's about it for now Feel free to put your opinions over this mock down in the comments section. And be sure to check out my blog and Facebook pages. And be sure to subscribe if you like what you see here because I will have many more to come throughout this year. So thank you guys very much for all the subscribers and views. And please be sure to tell anyone else who may be interested in this kind of thing about my channel and it would be greatly appreciated. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.